I was listening to this pundit the other day. He was talking about the ideal way to express your skills, have a good life, or whatever else pundits like to talk about. He said the ideal set of skills are the ones that you enjoy doing. It will earn you some money. There's a large market for and will allow you to do good. The first three are perfect. In fact, you only really need the first two skills that you enjoy doing and will allow you to make money. The only caveat is that the money is being voluntarily given to you. If you are a highly skilled bank robber and you enjoy robbing banks, that wouldn't really qualify. People sometimes feel a need to add on the do good for society whenever they talk about making money, as if there is something inherently wrong with only wanting to make money. That unless you are also taking time to do good, whatever that means, then only making money isn't enough. But when you do something and somebody voluntarily gives you money because they're glad of what you did, that is good. Imagine that you and a friend decided to trade $20 bills just for fun. How would that feel? Pretty silly. Now, imagine trading $20 for $21. That would feel much better. That's why people like to buy things. We want the thing we are getting more than the money we are giving. If you run the best bread shop in town and people love to come to your bread shop, they love to give you money because they love to get your bread, then you are doing good. Selling bread that people enjoy buying is doing good. You have a skill that you enjoy baking the best bread around. That skill is getting you paid. So long as that money is coming from people that are happy and eager to hand over the cash in exchange for the bread, there's nothing more you need to have a fulfilling life, at least from a making money career financial stability standpoint. Add in a couple of happy relationships and Bob's your uncle. This idea rests on top of very ancient instincts, instincts that drove people to act selfishly, not an evil kind of selfish, but in a very ancient and very mutually beneficial selfish way. The mutually beneficial selfishness that makes bees and flowers team up to help each other even if they don't know what they're doing. A similar type of overlapping selfishness exists between dogs and humans, and humans and humans. The same mutually beneficial overlappingly selfish skills that make people want to develop skills so that people will eagerly pay you money for those skills. This is a very deep and very ancient human desire. Everybody has it. Everybody wants to express it. Learn to leverage this ancient desire and you can motivate people to do anything. Go to the link on your screen to find out how.